to try it again. Well, because we also today, like I think the whole team got the uh, meeting um, request for the comprehensive plan meeting. Did I send that? Yeah. Send um, it to everyone. So yeah, but so hopefully he's going to try and join the one. Was that, that uh, Matt? Mitchell, yes. Matt Mitchell. Right, Mitchell. But, but yeah, so we... And the we, one we, that you we did communicate really... with that. I, okay. I was communicating with um, that. Okay. Here, let's let's just do this. Make sure you send him the new one. Let me then the one from this. He, he says it's still. Let me give him a new one. Okay. okay. Um, I will wait on. I have one update in regards to Adam texting and we're building. Nathan, okay. Are you a resident? Listen? I work here. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> How's everybody's day going? Yeah. Yeah. It's back in order. Having tons of guests. Yeah. We got a couple more groups of family coming through this summer. So yeah. Gotta yeah. do that deep clean of the house, you know, once a month. It's like, oh, dusting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We had 24 <laughs> guests on Friday and 20 on Saturday. Oh my God. Yeah. Everything is in here. Yeah. So. Oh. Him was exhausted. He, did, he was like, I'm going to take a nap. And it was pretty much napped all day. <laughs> so it's nice to see everyone, but yeah, then you just relax. <laughs> exactly. Okay. It's in that one. Um, send up a new one. Hey, Rocky, we're just going to have him call in. He's still stuck. I'm just going to set my cell phone up here. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. I've got you on the table on speakerphone in front of Elizabeth. I hope that's okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Just, just perfect. Okay. okay. All right, great. Okay, so then we'll proceed. So um, the next thing on the item was the approval of the agenda. And I wanted to add one item to the agenda and that was just to get an employer survey update. Yep. So if we can add that. And then everybody's okay with that. Yeah, so we'll add that to the top of any business. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So if you just want to put that as a Jake update, because I'll have a couple of things to share with you guys. Um, okay. So... If that's okay, do you have other things to vote on? We do have a couple things to vote on, but you know, I don't think they'll take the whole meeting. So okay, it's fine. Okay, uh, we really only have the one major item on the agenda for tonight. That's uh, approving the employer survey. Uh, unfortunately, we have gotten stuck in IT limbo, hell, whatever you want to call it. We cannot get our IT company to set us up another email address. Um, so Matt and I have had two meetings scheduled with Brett to send out the employer one, mm -hmm. both of which have gotten stuck because what we decided to do was get a housing at angelfirenm.gov email where everything would come back. Mm -hmm. All the responses would come back there. Okay. Um, the first Friday Matt and I were supposed to do this was the crowd strike, whatever deal that just crushed all of our IT. And um, unfortunately we had another one scheduled for last Friday. We still can't. Apparently, we're not the only ones waiting. Uh, the village is not real happy with our IT provider right now. Um, that will be considered come contract time, but the employer survey has not gone out. Um, we have done the test case, as you all, uh, those of you who are here will remember, it was working fine. We discussed the path forward with manager Weir on the nuts and bolts, and, and ultimately, we need an email because it doesn't need to come to... Mm -hmm. You know, right. the chair or my email, we need one repository email where all the responses can come back to. Okay. 
So the employer email has not gotten sent out. I don't think that should slow us up on the business we have tonight with the employee survey. It's still something that needs to get elevated to council. Um, so what I'm going to propose is we keep this meeting fairly short and sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually ask that you guys have another meeting next week uh, based on an email I just sent around. Uh, you probably haven't seen it yet, but it was two real estate listings um, for bare dirt. Uh, one of which is the property right behind Zeb's. Mm -hmm. The other is the property up on Freya right off of 64. So these are both two five-ish acre plots. And so what we're looking for is feedback from any and all council members. If you would send those to me. So I want Elizabeth and Josh, since they're chairs, to have a, a vote here. So mm -hmm. let's have all the email feedback come to me. Um, we would then have another meeting to vote on which one of these two properties to elevate to council for a purchase. Okay. Now, there was one wrinkle last week, just to update you guys on, the um, estate manager for the Patterson estate reached back out about Patriot Plaza, mm -hmm. asking us to submit another offer, basically. Okay. I think there's a little bit of remorse on their part for, oh no, we're gonna, I think they finally realized that all of the work that was done in that building without any permits has essentially made that building worthless. Um, and so the mayor indicated to them he would be open to submitting an offer to them, but it would be treated as bare dirt only. So it would be the seven acres to the rear of the property, not the commercial frontage. They would retain that. And we're giving serious consideration to what we would do with anything with that building. Would we look at renovating it? Would we dozer it? Would we let the fire department do burn down training with it? I mean, kind of all things are on the table there. Mm -hmm. So they have been slow enough that we opted not to include that property as part of the two I sent you. Cause I think the feeling is we're not sure that they're really ready to come okay. to grips with what that property is worth. Okay. So does that timeline all make sense? What yes. we're aiming for is a council meeting on the 13th of August. So anything we'd like to have elevated, we hope to have the employer survey sent out by then. We may end up sending the employee one and the employer one out at the same time. With all the IT issues, we may just, we've already done the funding on it. Uh, I've already talked to Greg Ralph about putting the flyer together for the employee survey. So that's all going. But we'd like, you know, your honest feedback on these two pieces of bare dirt. Okay. Um, one quick thing on the employer survey. Yes. So I know when we did our subscription or whatever, we had the option of having three email addresses. Yep. I know I have one, Matt has one, and I'm afraid that we've already used the third one. So we may have to remove someone. One, someone. Okay. I might have been Dennis who we added or Brett. We can okay. remove that one and replace it. So Matt, you might just check into whatever that's going to take. Because I do remember we could only have three. Three administrative right. is what I, what I was thinking. So Right. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess we approved the agenda then. We you know, did we? We didn't really. We didn't it. really vote on it. But okay. Okay. Let's do that real quick. Maybe just the all in favor of the agenda. Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. So, approval of the minutes from the June twenty fourth and July seventeenth work sessions. Um. Does anybody have any? The only thing I. You know, the only comment I had was that, I, you know, I had added, I had a point L. Mm -hmm. The governance that I yeah. mentioned earlier, but we could that's okay. It was in my scribbles, it wasn't necessarily so. I, other than that, I'm good. So, all in favor, all right, Aye. Matt. Aye. Okay, Aye. all right, very good. Anyone opposed? No, I didn't hear any. Okay, all right. So, we've already talked about the employer survey. Um, Okay, then the next item was a vote to send the employee survey and marketing of the survey to the council. So Jake just mentioned that um, the visitor center employee, what is his name again? Uh, no, so the director of tourism, Greg Ralph. Okay, the director of tourism, Greg Ralph, mentioned that he could put together the flyer um, instead of us hiring a different do we pay him so no? so no so okay. we had intended this is back to the caristo creative right so that contract has been 
canceled right. and put back out for RFP. It won't be back from RFP for probably, I think, another 30 days. Mm -hmm. I don't know that number, so don't hold me to it. But we're kind of stuck in this limbo where we're going to need this flyer. Mm -hmm. And so Greg indicated as long as we can get him the email address, the QR code link that he'll need, he can generate all of that. Okay. And and if if we get delayed, we can always go back to Christo, but we don't want that to be the whole thing right. for a flyer. I don't mind having him do the flyer. I would like to see the flyer sure. before it gets put out there. So I can generate, once we get the email, yep. which I'm assuming we'll do, use the same email for the employee service. Correct. To come so, back to. so we talked about workforce housing. That's too long. So we're just, I think right now, leaning towards housing at angelfirenn.gov. Right. Okay. That will be the, the one email for all survey activity. Okay. So we'll get that email. We'll give him the link to the survey that, yep. so he can generate the QR code. And then if he could bring it, so we agree that we're, I mean, I think we're going to vote on allowing him to create the flyer. I think we still need to see the flyer before 100%. we say, yay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. And any, um, any discussion on the employee survey? This is exactly what we had put together before. This is the wrong this is the employer survey that you received from Rocky. That's not quite the one we're talking about. Um, we had the employee survey from Lori in our email. Did everybody get a chance to review that? Yes. And she obviously, unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight. Right. So. And um, so the only thing I would, would say is that, you know, when Matt put in the employer survey, he had to tweak it a little bit because of the way you have to structure the, the questions. I don't know, Matt, if you've had an opportunity to do the employee survey one yet. I have not done that one yet, but I certainly can. Okay. So it shouldn't take too long. Okay. And then so if there's any tweaking to that, then of course we should um we I mean we can go ahead and send if we're all if we all approve, send the employee survey that we have put together to out to the council for their approval, but in the meantime, we could be testing it because you can always go back in and edit if they wanted to reword something. Okay. Sure, I'll go ahead and I, I could go ahead and um, prepare that and send out a test to you all okay. to, by tomorrow. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, sounds good. And so, do we approve sending the employee survey and the idea for the and tourism director to do our flyer. Aye. 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 Okay, Matt. Aye. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Approved. All right. We are just keep moving on. Okay. So the workforce housing governance draft. You have a copy of that. Um, I did manage to get the changes in. For some reason, I thought it was like a huge number of changes, and I was panicking with all these people coming in. But um, I did manage to get those changes in, and they were. We I'll just quickly highlight them, and then we can discuss if that's the final wording that we want or not. So no changes to section one, or the intro paragraph on section two, line A or dot A. Um, we had talked about doing a ten thousand dollar GRT threshold over a two-year period in the village of Angel Fire. So are we, that was what we talked about. Is everybody comfortable with that? Good. Okay. And again, all, all your changes will be reviewed by legal. So if there's right. something we trip over, this is not the final right. in stone version. So Okay. Okay. And then the next one, part B, what we talked about was that we were going to change the definition to yeah. include the village reference the village's definition of family members and or who qualified we need to add the village doc document reference number there i didn't have that okay but i've got it in the parentheses so we, i think we can still send it and then that's fine yeah. santos or whoever well, takes yep. care of it can add that so so that's all it says it's it still says or who qualified for familial status but it also that village is that family definition okay um on dot c we talked last time about we we are fine with employee employers reserving some units for their maybe rotating type of you know occupants or maybe some temporary housing for their occupants, um, but we didn't want 
them to come in and you know keep all 20 of them right so or however many we have so i i don't we don't, i don't know that we landed a number i just yeah. tentatively put in two so yeah if you you can say any any employer looking to reserve multiple workforce housing units will require authorization of the mm -hmm. workforce housing committee okay because i just said employees will be limited you're saying any employer a list of occupants must be okay so in, Let's say that again. So, so any employer looking to reserve multiple workforce housing units associated with their business okay. will require prior authorization from the workforce housing committee. Okay. So, so if if the resort or if Lowe's or if anyone wanted to come in and get a dozen units, that's okay as long as the committee says so. Okay. So, so the committee would end up being the deciding factor on okay, we don't have all of the housing going in one direction. We okay. want to make sure everyone gets a shot at it. Okay. I'll say must seek authoriz authorization from the Workforce Housing Committee on the number of units. Now, the um, the only exception to that I, I just thought of, any employer other than the Village of Angel Fire, mm -hmm. because yeah. Village of Angel Fire is getting the way it's, it's preferential treatment that Village employees will get first right of refusal. Right. Well, especially because we own them. Right. Okay. All right. I'll put that. Okay. All right. Um, next dot point that I made a change to was uh, point F. Um, we had initially said that we were going to do quarterly required uh, validation of the proof of employment. Now I just saying that employers must also agree to periodic verifications upon request from the village's designated representative or property manager for the occupant to retain. I think that's, that's correct, David. Okay. Yeah. And then let's see, did I change G? Same thing here, I changed it. Um, we were, before I think we, we had something like village property management authority, I changed it to um, recommendation from the workforce housing committee or the village's designated representative or property manager, same kind of wording. Yep. Okay. Um, and then L, special exceptions was the other thing I ordered. So this was, I just said, the village of a the Angel Fire Village Council has the discretion to approve the use of workforce housing units for special needs. Examples include, but are not limited to, employers or contractors to staff a healthcare facility because most likely the healthcare facility is not going to be um, their GRT is going to be it may be, be GRT of ten thousand, but they're not going. There might be it might be Holy Cross, right? You know, employers or contractors for public projects or safety like forest fire protection, road construction, etc., and designated employer or contractor for the management of workforce housing units, which we talked about. Right. Having... So those, yeah, just three examples to kind of give people. And then on pay under application process section. I don't know why there is an M there. It should be a B. I'll correct that. Um, under Section B, same thing about occupants who meet the Village of Angel Fire's definition of family members or who qualify under uh, familial status under fair housing do not need to submit an application. That was, and then that is, let's see, did I, that was only changes I made. Wait, I think, I, no, I made one more on the last page under property management b i said it used to say the village should issue an rfp to three local and i just said it issue an rfp for services using the village's standard rfp process village council should review at least three property management companies at least including local service providers as well as regional and that is all that counts i mean okay so if we just have this one change, then I still think I could make that change, and we could once, and uh, then we could approve sending it with that change. Is that okay to do it that way? It, it would be, yeah. Okay. And, and and I think you guys are a little ahead, which is great mm -hmm. um, on the governance side. So I think getting the employee survey sent off with the marketing associated today, mm -hmm. we're going to have a meeting next week. Or I would like to, so we can vote on. Um, the parcels that I've emailed to you all. Uh -huh. um, so we could either have the governance vote at that meeting or one to be scheduled in the future. Maybe we should vote on it, on, just vote on it on the next meeting because it was not included in the public packet. Right. So that way it can be in the public packet and then we can vote on it. So I'll make this one change 
put it that way. If somebody really feels strongly about it and they want to come to the meeting, they yep. could do that. Okay, yep. so let's do that. That will be the following the definite protocol thing. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's, does everybody agree with that path forward? Yep. Okay. All right. One other thing too, I wanted to mention, I mentioned in my email is that um, on the, we're not talking about the incentive document tonight, mm -hmm. but I was in the office a couple of days ago at Lindsay. And of course, Lindsay's our mayor. And I went to get something off the printer and there were two copies of our incentive document there. Now, it may have been me who printed it. I don't know. But there were two copies of it there and they did not say draft and they didn't have any of our changes in it. And so I'm perfectly fine with public reading that document. They just need to know it's a draft. Sure. So we need to make sure that we get Lori to put draft on that document as well as any other future documents that Got we it. have. Because so, it, 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 I, I'm sure I sent it to the mayor at some point mm -hmm. looking for feedback. So yeah. And that's fine too. It's a good and, practice. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, draft. I just think if, you know, we all know that it's still a draft, yeah. but if somebody, you know, there's other realtors in the office, maybe they accidentally pick up something and then give it to a client sure. as part of the 10 pages that they're giving them. And then it's all of a sudden, oh, you're doing this and you're doing <laughs> that. Mm. You know, so anyway. Okay, so we'll, let's just make sure we do that going forward. Okay, so then next meeting. So we talked about you, so you've sent us an email. Correct. So I sent an email with two different listings, okay. uh, the, the property out on Priya and the property behind Zebs. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for feedback to come to me. So these are real estate listings. Uh, I'll tell you, Annie Lindsay pulled them because I asked BJ for an email that had all the statistics. Here's the size. Here's the prices. Now, those are listing prices. I, I don't yeah, know what they would right. actually go right. for, but you can consider that as part of your. So basically, there's two properties. Rank them. Which okay. one's one for you? Which one's two for you? If you have comments, include those comments back to me. Those comments are basically going to be part of a report that we would like to vote on next week to send to council. This is not, again, these are not binding. Council doesn't have to take. If you guys okay. pick one, we could pick the other. But we're just looking for you guys to give us feedback. Anything else? Um, the feedback we've gotten so far, we have gotten feedback from Public Works Director on the utility access for both of them and the need for snow fencing on both of them okay. for, for drifting in the winter. Um, those will be costs that, that the village were to incur. And so we're looking for his expertise on that. So this is really, you know, here's the bare dirt. Here's the numbers. Mm -hmm. They're both around five acres. So they're, they're relatively similar, but any other feedback you've got, let me know. Mm -hmm. And again, let's have that come to me email. that way that, that Elizabeth and Josh both get a vote. Um, so yeah, email it in my direction with your ranking and any comments. We will then probably pull that together in a report at the next meeting and vote to send that report to council for them to act upon. Okay. So um, I had a thought, let me think what it was about the discussion of both of those properties. I would think some things that, that maybe people consider are things like walkability, yep. or, you know, transportation. Mm -hmm. um, one thing... I would be very careful about, as a realtor, this is just my personal feedback, as a realtor, I'd be very care very careful about um, steering housing away from aesthetic places that you think it would be more aesthetic to have it or, you know, that kind of thing. The, the not other in my own backyard, let's not do any of that kind of thing, you know, that that's the... We need to steer away from, we need to not talk about those things. The other thing that has been discussed and will be made public is um, Lindsay would probably donate as I think the listing broker would too, any commissions. In other words, right. Mary Lindsay doesn't want to put in a position of pick mine because I'm going to make money on it. Right. If we end up picking the lot behind Zebs, there will be no financial windfall for Lindsay right. Realty, unfortunately, but that's how to make it level. They've decided to address it. Right. They've, they've, they've told us that yeah. as their employee or right. contracted employee. So. Oh, listen, I just wanted to clarify. So you're saying steering, like in the sense of like real estate steering or. Right. Like, right. I don't mean, want to be I, funneling people. I put po lean towards the positive comments. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, one way to put it is the consideration would be the value the village gets out of it. Don't think about the change in the value of any land around there. Right. Right. Correct. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah. I, you know, I know, I know some people may not want 
apartments next to their business, but that's we just we we just can't be influenced by that necessarily. Right. So okay. Okay. Um okay, then um okay, and then should we also maybe kind of provide some recommendations or comments about the Patriot Plaza location? So you can, if you would like to consider that as a third, though odds, the other two are listed in for sale. And mm -hmm. I know Lindsay has had conversation with both mm -hmm. listing agents. Mm -hmm. So I would say that those are more real. The Patriot Plaza one, if you want to include it as a alternate with comments, that's fine. Keep okay. in mind, the way it's being considered now is only the bare dirt to the back and do not consider the building from a renovations perspective. Okay. And then also, I think last time when we talked about, I think it was in the minutes, we thought that you were going to fit 16 units per acre. So they're, they're technically, the, the manufacturer said we could actually do 20. The Perfect. zoning on all of those is R20, so it's zoned for that. That doesn't necessarily leave you room for drift fencing around, roads between, parking maybe on the end of the unit, also maybe beside the unit. So I've kind of whittled that down to 16 just for a little more buffer space. So are these standalone units? Yes. How in the world are we going to fit 16 on an acre? Are they like skinny tall? They are, yeah. So okay. these are 750 square feet. Okay. I think they're... Like they're like 15 by whatever that math works out to. These are single wides okay. is what they are. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. They're kind of like a, okay. They're a very small single wide, okay. essentially. Mo modular, not mobile home, but they're, but you're, but if you think this, about it, mom. This gets tricky because the units we have quoted right now are the HUD certified units, which is what okay. our vendor would prefer. Okay. They are the six inch wall construction, which is generally more akin to the modular. Mm -hmm. However, they are on axles. Okay. So they are an interesting hybrid that has been built specifically for targeting HUD based business, which we're not HUD, but a lot of the requirements from them flow to us because we're a municipality. So okay. they are on axles, 100%. They can be removed from the axles. They though. can be. Um, likely, they would just get skirted mm -hmm. and, and go. Okay. One advantage that gives us, actually, and it's, it's one of the reasons we've shied away from considering Patriot Plaza or Allen Fields, just because, okay, where would mobile homes look aesthetically well, in keeping? And that's inside the resort, too. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. The other advantage long term is if we do end up with five acres full of these things and 30 years down the road, that dirt is so valuable, we'll move them, mm -hmm. pick them up and move them to mobile home mm -hmm. estates and okay. develop that dirt into something else. OK. OK. So that make, that makes more because I'm sitting here going, are we going to do something like Christy Bia? Because Christy Bia was actually a modular, yeah. you, you know? Yeah. I, and I was trying to envision. So, you know? so <laughs> no, right now, these are. You, you want to call them mob modulars? Fine. You would call them mobile homes. Both are probably correct. Okay. Uh, but they would be standalone units with small, but some spacing between for a yard slash parking. Okay. So, and then, so back to the agenda. So we're going to discuss and vote on those two properties, uh, vote on our recommendation for those two yes. properties. Then we will also uh, review the council and vote on it to send it to approval, making sure that this, and so I will do this change like tomorrow so we can get that. And um, the, maybe also have an update on the employer survey. So, and if we get the flyer, well, maybe we can also vote on that correct. if we have that within a week, I don't know. Okay, so let, dates. Can we do the fifth? Because if we can, the agenda really needs to get set, you know, Today. tomorrow, the next day. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me look at the fifth. I kind of need to go home and type it up. Uh, um, I'm good on the fifth. We're just gonna make this fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm good for the fifth. I am. I am traveling the tenth through the thirteenth, but I should be home on the thirteenth. I will not be home for the council meeting, but because my flight lands in Santa Fe at four twenty, and maybe even even later. Than it might land later than 420. So I probably won't be able to be at the council meeting. You'll just have to, or even That's Josh fine. can represent. So So we're good on the 5th. Is that still 530? Yeah, yeah. 530 okay. is fine. Well, then if, if, if 
Elizabeth and Meg, if you guys will get the necessary things to Rocky tomorrow, Wednesday at the latest, to set that meeting for the 5th. Okay. Um, we will move all the other votes to there. I, I do have uh, okay. one other small update before, because this is the, we're, we're at the end. Sure. Um, last end of last week, I got invited to go look at the tiny homes, tiny cabins, whatever they are, for lack of a better term, in Eagle Nest. Uh, mm -hmm. If you've seen them on the way out of town, there's about 17 of them there that have never been occupied. The owner reached out to Jeff Weeks. And so Jeff reached out to me to say, hey, do you want to go see what these are? Um, there's some back and forth. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Do we move them? They are essentially a hotel room. That They're, mm -hmm. they're not a full home. There's There's a refrigerator, dorm style or otherwise, there's a decent sized bathroom, but basically think a queen size hotel room. That's okay. essentially what these are. So there's gonna be some back and forth on, does it make any sense to do these? Um, anyone other than just a single person, this would not make sense for. But one of the things we got stuck on with the two bed, two bath units we're looking at is we had, the, the tiny homes were not cheaper. They were they were ten thousand uh -huh. dollars annually cheaper. Mm -hmm. So there was nothing really below. The only solution right now for a single person in the housing we're talking about is a roommate, because the rents on those are going to be you know yeah. thirteen hundred bucks a month. So these might get us in at a lower rent price point, mm -hmm. which may have some value for single people only. Mm -hmm. The other thing we may consider these is you know long term we're going to have to redesign fire station uh, one. Um, they use a crash pad system over there. I could see potentially buying and renovating a couple of these for seasonal use. Hey, we have an event in town and we need another paramedic. We, we have, we don't have room with the crash pad. So, Hey, here's this over here. Um, it only makes sense if the numbers are low enough and these would also need some work. The way they're plumbed right now, they are not meant to be plumbed in winter. They basically get emptied and winterized. So we'd have to invest some money into retrofitting them to be year round construction mm -hmm. rated. Um, so not something we're looking for a vote on, but it's something we've talked about before is, hey, what about a single person? This might be an option. Um, if I was a single person or what I want to live in this year round, I'm not sure. But if I was you know, a police officer or a paramedic or somebody who's coming in for just seasonal type. We have an event in town and we need more people. Maybe this makes sense. Maybe mm -hmm. it doesn't. But I wanted to throw it out to you all to let you kind of think on it. And Could they be twin bed kind of? What if you put two twins in there? No, it, it'd be tight. I mean, because I was thinking maybe some of the seasonal that come just for the mountain is it's possible. You know, could be an it, option. It, it if you if you were in standing in it, you could put a queen bed with a small table and two chairs end to end, the other end of the room. So there's the entry door. You would walk in and you could touch the queen bed. Oh, they're that small. They're small. These are like 160 square feet. These are not the Pinterest. No, <laughs> no, 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 they are not. They actually have a decent sized bathroom, mm -hmm. oddly enough. Mm -hmm. um, but no, these are not your... And what did you say last mm -hmm. time the ISO standard is like 200? One square person feet. for every two hundred square feet. Yeah. This this has been bounced around. I mean, for, it's ISO standard. Yeah, feet, I know. But. So these, I don't think these are two hundred square feet. Yeah. Um, I don't know that this would be a great long term living, but if we have the dirt available and could fit a couple of these in, and it helps on our holiday weekends, mm -hmm. you know, I, and I see the same thing potentially, um, you know, like the police department. Mm -hmm. Well, as our events grow over the next couple of years, we may need another, you know, hey, we're going to contract and we have a deputy sheriff who's here for the whole weekend. Great. He can stay out there at that place. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's just a, a money loser for the Village of Angel Fire, but it does provide us with a housing option that we don't have now. And it might be considered as one of the things on Council Agenda tomorrow is we are hiring the new fire chief or okay. it will be an agenda item. Okay. He will be one of his major tasks is going to be the design work of redesigning fire station number one. Mm -hmm. And this might be kind of a budget pressure release valve if, hey, we're, we're designing fire station number one and we can only afford this much crash pad space. Well, if for another, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars, whatever it is, we could stack some extra capacity out there mm -hmm. um, because we're talking about capacity on high weekends, weekends where 
The right. resort is likely to be full up. A lot of our short-term rentals are likely to be full up. These would just be overflow capacity for, I need two more paramedics, one more firefighter, something like that mm -hmm. for this weekend. Okay. I'm not convinced because the Patriot Plaza has taught me pretty well buying old structures that have been up here a while and been touched by a lot of hands that nobody knows, you're certainly buying some problems. Yeah. This is on a small enough scale though. If the price is right, it might be something that we come back to you all with. So I wanted to kind of throw it out there as I had this meeting, here's what happened. Okay. I'll let you know as we get further down the road. Okay. All right. So we've got our agenda set. We'll get, we, I'll get my stuff ready and send to Meg by tomorrow morning. I'll just go home and do it real quick. It's end it. Okay. And other, and then we'll get everything to Rocky, including the governance, and then um, yep. by tomorrow afternoon or something like that. Well, okay. thank you for the flexibility on doing another meeting just a week later, but it's sending things to council. So we're, yeah. <laughs> we're one step closer. So Okay, good. Very good. Awesome. All right. Well, if there's no other business, then... Well, wait, I do want to ask the person in the audience, do you have any questions for us or anything? No, no. Okay, all right. Then I'll adjourn our meeting. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. I did have a question. Are you the, aren't you the laundress tax liaison as well? No. Oh. That is Jeff. Okay. I am this committee, fire adaptive committee, which I have in the morning, and dark sky ordinance committee. Okay. Those are my three currently. Okay. Um. Well, 